We are gonna deck this thing out. So I've got the Silver Zenith Altitude Package. So we've got the black badging, black grill, black wheels. We're gonna head over and check out all the parts we're gonna throw on this vehicle, the whole install, and what this bad boy is gonna look like at the end. I've got Calvin here. He's our master tech. He handles all the big lifts, wheels and tires installs. We're gonna start with the Falcon shocks, okay? So we got the Falcon 3 Series dual reservoir shocks. So these have uh, little adjustable toggles here so you can make the ride stiffer or smoother to your liking. I love the look of this sitting up inside the wheel well. And then we've got the piggyback style for the rear. These things are absolute beasts. I gotta say, out of all the different lifts that I've seen, I think the Falcon shocks look really good too when they're sitting on the vehicle, right Calvin? No, for sure, for sure. Okay. What do we have up front? We have up front here is the front upper and lower control arms. They're really nice, they're adjustable, they're greasable. It's, they're perfect, right? So, and, and when we move over here, you have the adjustable track bar. Those are also very nice. And I see on the upper and lower control arms, it looks like we've got cast iron yep. knuckles here. Mm -hmm. That's yep. awesome. So that's really, really gonna good. come in handy when you're off-roading yep. and really beating it up. So. For sure, yeah. Next, we have the upgraded springs. This is for the front, and this is definitely for the rear. Same as the front, these control arms in the rear are also greasable. They're adjustable, so yeah, they're, they're, they're awesome. Look. look at the size of those. <laughs> those are freaking huge, Yes, they man. are. No, you, you can't bend those. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to snap those nope, on the trail. Nope, nope. So what are these little arms here? These little arms here are adjustable front sway bar lengths. Okay. And so when you detach them, which is very easy, as little as 30 seconds, right? Just to take them off, so it's yeah. really, really nice. Same as these right here. These are the rear sway bar lengths. Also adjustable for if you want to drive off-roading or if you want to you know, have a little bit stiffer, right? So Excellent. Now let's move on to the tires. These are my favorite tires, the Cooper Discover STT Pro. Not the best tires for winter, but I just love the look of them. They're absolute beasts. I love the sidewall and they've got these nice aggressive tread. I've also got the Fuel Rebels on here, silver to match the Jeep with the black ring. It's not a true beadlock, but it's a nice beadlock style. And the silver and black kind of accent the Jeep Wrangler. Calvin, what do you think of these rims and tires? Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> All right, so what do we got so far, my man? Okay, so right now, we do have everything taken off for the most part. Um, we already installed the new springs, as you can see here. We're in the process of taking the control arms off. And you see, if you look on the ground right there, those are the new ones that's getting installed. Halfway done. <laughs> it's coming along, eh? It's coming along. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. What do we got now? Hey, as you can see, um, the stock stuff is taken off and the new control arms are in. Wow. We didn't need that piece anyway, eh? Nope. <laughs> Just a mountain of rims and tires here. Oh yeah. Baby tire, the big boys. So I'm here with Rob with Oxfab. He's doing all the custom bumpers and step work on the Jeep Wrangler. He's gonna tell us exactly what he's doing. I'm Robbie from Oxfabrication in Arrington, British Columbia. Today we're gonna to be taking your own personal Jeep and outfitting it with custom bumpers and rock sliders made by myself. I will be getting rid of all the old bumpers. Uh, you don't have sliders, so we're gonna be putting those on. All my bumpers are made manufactured with 316 steel, a quarter inch bracketry, and they are direct bolt-on. The bumpers are coated and then they are secondary coated with a poly two-part coating. It really takes about a day procedure to get it all together. Then after it's all together, we'll be able to get the lights, a new winch, and all the accessories. So we just got the Jeep back from Rob. It looks amazing. About two weeks in the making to finish this entire build, but it's ready to go. Guys, let's check it out. I've had it out for a little drive and the adjustment on the fly on these shocks, super cool feature, I'd recommend it, definitely worth it. So on the side here, we got some custom rock rail steps. These are some solid steps and they make it a little bit easier to get in and out of this massive Jeep. When it comes to wheels and tires on a Jeep, I'm a firm believer of having that full size spare. But here's the thing, when you've got a 37, 13, five on the back, 
it puts a lot of stress on the factory hinges and every time you hit a bump it, the door rattles it's just not a fun time so what we've done here we've reinforced the rear swing gate with the rugged ridge x brace so this is a heavy duty steel brace it actually replaces the factory hinges completely and it bolts right to the frame of the jeep wrangler so this thing is absolutely solid it's going to support your tire it's going to support that heavy weight on the back and as you can see we got another custom bumper from robert oxfab here great attention to detail he really lines that rear fender and body line up with this bumper gives it kind of a chiseled look it's all coated in the rhino liner and we've got these beautiful led cubes mounted right into the rear bumper fantastic job rob thanks buddy last but not least we can't forget the custom decal work by rapture customs right here in nanaimo very, very easy to work with. They did a fantastic job. They did the print, the install, the whole thing for me. I'm loving the look at this. Shout out to Kieran at Rapture Customs. Appreciate your help, buddy. Great job. That wraps it up on the Driving with Stu Mobile. I wanna hear from you in the comments what you would rate this Jeep build on a scale of one to 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do and hit the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.